This video is sponsored by Squarespace. How's it going guys? Vincent here from the thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to another episode of Dojo TV, a show where I talk about all things motion graphics, visual effects, and all things related to that. Um, so I know it's been a little while since the last uh, Dojo TV. It's been really busy for me moving around and you know changing things up. And I've just been really swamped with work and a lot of things going on in my life uh, besides the Dojo. So excuse me for you know the kind of long hiatus. Hopefully this is all just temporary. As you can see, I'm in a new place now, different setup, different things going on. So it's been pretty hectic for me. But in this episode of Dojo TV, we're gonna be talking about the Cooler 5 winners of last month, August, I think 26 or something like that. The winners for that Cooler 5. We're gonna be announcing the next Cooler 5 due in October 18th, which is my birthday, by the way. And we'll also talk about Cinema 4D R16 that was just released recently, as well as some new content for that. And a lot of freebie scripts, freebie stuff that's going out. That's not for me, but uh, from other people. So I wanna share that stuff to you guys. And so let's go and check it out. So the first things first is the Cooler 5 winners. So we had a lot of fantastic entries. I honestly had a very hard time picking the top three or so. Um, you know, and I say this all the time, but it gets progressively harder as, you know, more talented people, uh, you know, join the community and more people learn new stuff. And it just gets really, really competitive and it gets really, really good. And it's hard to choose, you know, the top three because everyone's entries a little bit different. Some are more creative, some are more funny, some are more interesting, some are more well done. Uh, but I think I selected the top three, I think, that performed pretty well. And also mentioned a few honorable mentions in the article, which you can check out. Now, I can't make everyone an honorable mention because obviously I would defeat the purpose. Um, but, you know, I did, you know, mention a few other people that, you know, were really, really good and kind of like between the ranks. Let's go and take a look at the first entry or submission by Lange. Lane, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but pretty cool stuff here. Let's check it out. So this is what I consider the number one entry just because I thought it was very well done. I love, you know, the cartoon style animation, you know, all the tiny little details, you know, the, the animation, the movement, you know what it's all about. And it's just very, very well done. I love the color palette. I love just, you know, the animation, the smoothness of things and just the way you presented the idea. So I thought that kind of deserved first place. So it's very, very cool. I loved it. And, you know, thank you so much for submitting your entry. And it was a really great job. Check him out. The link to his website will be down below in the description. Very talented guy and love the style. On to number two. Now, the entry was by Rickard Bingston. I'm sorry if I butchered your name as well. Um, so this was a little bit different. It's a lot more, you know, humorous, interesting. Um, so, you know, it's not really as polished, I would say, but it's a different type of style. It's a very, very, you know, rough style, but it looks very, very good. You know, it matches the theme. You know, you have Godzilla crushing all the buildings and doing all these crazy stuff. So it's a very, very nice way of, um, I guess, creating a traditional 2D style uh, motion graphics piece. I think he did design a lot of this stuff in Photoshop and just kind of animated in After Effects and stuff. So you know, the cooler palette was very interesting. You know, it matches your style. Um, very cool animation, very cool idea. And, uh, you know, it's very well done. And I like the, you know, the, the roughy uh, classic style that's going on there. So, you know, he always really does a lot of great work and submits a lot of work to the Cooler 5 project. So pretty cool stuff. Check his stuff out. Great job. On to the last place. <laughs> Now this piece was done by Kevin Snyder, and although it wasn't really a really you know straightforward approach to I guess theme destruction, it was still very destruction like, and you know it was very very well done. I love you know all the little tiny details as well, the little bubbles everywhere, this you know the smoothness, the the easing, the secondary animation, you know the little bouncing going on, um, you know just the nice smoothness of the animation as well as the sound effects and you know everything like that. So it's a very well done animation. It was definitely definitely chaotic, definitely I guess destruction in its own way and it's just pretty nice and very well done solid work so that was awesome again all the links to these people's portfolios websites and you know channels and vimeo channels is all in the description down below so those were kind of the top three that i thought were kind of the best ones per se of course there were a lot of other ones that were really really close and very 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 good as well and they are probably in the honorable mention in the article link down below so definitely check that out there's a lot of talented ones there's a lot of, you know, funnier ones that are not, you know, very well done, but they, but the idea is very, very clever. And, you know, you have a lot of other ones that are really great too. So check that out. Now, the next Cooler 5 project is going to be a little bit different in a sense that you guys will actually be able to earn prizes. I know. Very exciting. And this is actually made possible by my friend Thomas, who actually created this Slice It Up script, as well as my new product uh, called Key Display for Mac, which is going to be, you know, a new product that's kind of unannounced right now. But pretty much... Uh, the next Cooler 5 project will be due in October 18th, 
And the theme is going to be slice it up. So think of some clever ways to kind of create a five second animation using the cooler palette and the theme slice it up. So, you know, you can make it funny slicing up things like, you know, watermelons, slicing up tables, do ninjas, do a whole bunch of things. The theme is going to be slice it up, do whatever you want. Make sure you use the cooler palette. Make sure it's five seconds long and submit it to Vimeo and leave it in the article link down below. So check that out. Um, you'll actually be able to win prizes and the prize details will actually be down below. It's going to be provided by myself as well as Thomas. Now, if you are a content creator or maybe you produce tools or products or, you know, packages for, you know, motion graphics or visual effects, if you guys want to offer products as a way of promotion uh, for your product and you want to give away to some cooler five winners, hit me up and I'll, you know, try to work with you guys and get that sorted out. So, you know, check that out. The next cooler five, October 18th, hope to see your entry and best of luck. There will be prizes. So that's cool. So before we go any further, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsor Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional online website, store, or portfolio. They have over 20 highly customizable and professionally designed templates. With their click and drag interface, adding content is a breeze. And starting at just $8 a month, you can get a free domain name if you sign up for a year. You can start your free trial of Squarespace by going to squarespace.com. Now when you do decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure you use the promo code DOJO to get 10% off your order and support the dojo. Squarespace, everything you need to create an exceptional website. Now, I guess in recent news, I should be talking about the new release of Cinema 40 R16 that was just kind of released, uh, I guess, I think two, three weeks ago. It was kind of teased like a month ago, but I didn't really have time to record a Dojo TV talking about it, about the new features. But there's a lot of new stuff like the Reflectance channel, which is completely different in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new improvements. And as always, there's always a ton of tutorials online right now that kind of walks you through all the new changes, all the new features. So I'll have a whole roundup of tutorials link down below where you can find all the tutorials on Cinema 40 R16. Some pretty big news. After Effects, I believe 13.2 was just announced recently and it hasn't been officially released yet at the time of this recording, but pretty much a few new features. It's a UI refresh, so things are kind of blue now. There's a little bit more improvement going on. And also they fixed the pseudo effects bug, which was present in After Effects 2014. Um, so, you know, that would be fixed. So Dojo Glitch and Dojo Extruder will work now with the latest version of After Effects CC. And again, links to all those information will be down in the description down below. So there's a new product on the market right now called Anycons, and it's pretty much an icon library's collection of pre-animated, customizable icons, animated icons for After Effects. So, you know, if you're doing a lot of motion graphics work so, or infographics or, you know, even, you know, motion graphics commercials, you'll always probably need some type of icon or, you know, animated icons for your work. And Anacon is a really great icon library to do that. It's, you know, very, very affordable. You get a lot of icons uh, in that package and you get free updates. So once you pay it once, once they add more icons in there, you get them for free. So it's a very, very cool product. And it's very, very affordable. So if you do a lot of motion graphics work, check that out. I actually was able to hook you guys up with the free sample pack to try it out. So if you want to check it out and, you know, get a free sample pack with a few icons, head over to creativedojo.net and check out that article where you can download a free sample pack. And basically what Anacons is, is a bunch of icons made in After Effects that's pre-rigged with expressions tied to pseudo effects sliders and checkboxes. You can easily customize the things very fast, very easily with sliders and color pickers and stuff like that. And it's very, it's very, very cool. There are also two new free scripts that just came out recently. One is called Circles by Other Cubed, and it's a cool script that allows you to pretty much create dynamic, customizable, and complex circle-based animations very quickly using a script. So it's a pretty cool script. You need to definitely check that out. Another free script is called the Effortless Accent Script by my friend Matt from Matt MoGraph. It's a cool little script that allows you to create secondary animation pops and explosions and little, you know, kind of little sparks very, very easily, very elegantly uh, in After Effects. So it's a pretty uh, cool free script as well. So definitely check that out. Lastly, there's a cool little website that allows you to kind of master the pen tool. So it's pretty much kind of like a game where you can actually, you know, do exercises and master how to use the pen tool. It's a very cool website, definitely a good exercise if you're not really familiar with the pen tool. So check that out. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Dojo TV. Um, you know, it's been a kind of a long week and uh, it's been kind of hectic, but you know, just want to get this in there. Can't wait to see your Cooler 5 submissions. Uh, as you know, it's been a really great time. So definitely looking forward to seeing your Cooler 5 projects. But you know, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, my name is Vincent Nguyen from the Creative Dojo and I'll see you guys next time.